Hello everyone, my name is Dawn Lang and I am with Prescriptive Health Solutions and today we're going to be doing a short exercise video to demonstrate some exercises that you can do whether it's at work or at home uh, but basically giving you no excuses to get up and move. Um, always, always check with your physician first before beginning any exercise program so that they can ensure that you are healthy enough to do these exercises and that you don't have any contraindications or any concerns that might prevent you from doing these exercises. So, let's get started. So starting out, you always want to start with a warm up. So I have my assistant here, Lucy, and she's gonna be here to help us along the way. So you might see her come in and out through the exercises. So nice wide stance, big stretch, arms reach high to the sky. As you exhale, squat down, get deep in the hips, lift up, squat, stand up. One more, squat, and lift. So you want to start moving and at least get some movement, especially if you've been sitting all day at work or even just been sitting around the house. So try to keep moving, whether you stay in place or walk. It's also have, helpful to have music to come alongside you. So it gives you a nice tempo and a beat to move to. Start moving the larger muscle groups. Right, left, right, left, right, left. Adding that dynamic movement through the hips and legs, large muscle groups help move that blood flow. Eight more, it's eight, seven, six, five, four, three, keep the legs, add in the arms. Pull, 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 pull. Keep it going, it's eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, feet down, squat, up, squat, lift, sit. As you're squatting, sit back in your heels. So keep your hips back, shift your workload to your hips and glutes. Sit, seven, six, five, four more, it's four, three, two. Same movement, but slow it down. Squat down for two. Lift up for two, sit low. So as you're sitting, sit back in the hips. So stay in the heels. Think of flexing in your feet. Stay in the heels rather than the toes. So those knees are gonna stay behind the toes, not in front. Down, faster with the tempo. Here we go. Down, up, seven, six, five, four, Three, two, hold it down, hold it, hold it, hold it, squat and hold, seven, six. So as you're doing this, stay back in the hips, so almost like you're sitting in an imaginary chair. Four, three, two, and one, come on up. Nice job. Now that we get the legs moving, start with the upper body. Whether you have dumbbells that you wanna use at home, or if you have cans that you wanna use instead, Palms are in front, slow bicep curls, curl it up for two, down for two, up and down. Keep it going, it's up and down. No matter how heavy the weight is, think of low weights, high repetitions, curl up and down. So as you're curling up, flex your biceps, flex the muscles as you curl, up and down. One more, stay up. Now we're gonna to transition to a shoulder press. Press up and lower down. Let's take it nice and slow so that way we can master our form. And down, down. Press up for two. You find that this is easier for you to do seated rather than standing, absolutely offer it up. Up, down, down. Press up, up, down. Two more, two more. Press up and down. One more, up. Now we're gonna combine the two exercises. Bicep, down for two, curl up, shoulder press. Take it slow and down. In front, biceps, down for two, curl up for two. Press and down. Again, biceps, down, curl up. Press it up and down. One more, one more, lower down for two. Curl up, shoulders, press, 
press. Now let's add some triceps. Kick it back and pull it in. So hinge at the hips. Keep your hips back. Elbows high. So you're going to straighten at the elbow. Bend at the elbow. Kick it back for two and in for two. While you're here, pull your belly button into your spine so your core is engaged. Support the back. And down. Kick back, back, in, in, back, back. Keep it going, keep it going, keep it going. Back for two and down for two. Back for two and in for two. Press it back, back, lower, lower. Press back, back. Alternate singles. Press it right and in. Left arm, kick it back. Pull it in. One more to each side. Right side and in. Left arm. Back. Taking it faster with the tempo. Take it right. Kick left. Right arm back and left. This is four. Left side. Three. Right side. Two. Left side and one. Nice. Beautiful job. Set the weights down. So if you don't have those items at your disposal, you can always bring your chair. You're showing exercises with the chair. So whether it's a deck chair or an office chair, if it is an office chair, make sure they don't have wheels. You don't want any movement with your chair. So something that's stable, preferably with armrests as well. So in this position, sit all the way back in the chair. Hands are going to be on the base of the chair. So we're going to kick in and do some core exercises. So while we're here, this is a great one to do even while you're at work. So while you're here, you're just going to try to lift your knee one at a time. Right knee up and down. Left knee, pull up off the floor and down. Lift. Now depending on how your back feels, you can always push your back into the back of the chair. So that way you have a little bit better support and stability. Two more, right? And down. One more. Up and down. Bring the left knee up. Pull both knees up. Hold. Now use the seat of your chair to push down into with your hands. Hold it, hold it. Isometric contraction. Hold it. Four, three. Alternate the legs. Tap left and right. Left foot taps, right, left, right, left, right, left, right. Both legs up, both legs up, hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it. Four more, this is four, three, two, a little harder than it looks, isn't it? Here we go. Take it down, lift them up, both legs together. Lower down, both legs up. Now if you're not able to lift the knees up as high as I am, don't worry about it. The goal is to lift those feet off the floor and let those thighs come off, the, off of the chair. Lift up, down, and lift. Down, lift. One more, this is four, and lift. Three more, lift, two more, two more, down, lift, one more, one more, down, and lift. Well done. Shake it out. Those kind of sneak up on you, don't they? And while you're here, another chair exercise you can do is move your hands to your, to your um, armrests. So from this position, you can use this as a tricep, push up and lower down. So make sure you have good armrests that you can utilize, kind of angle this a little bit. From this position, press up, lower down. Push up and down. Press up and down. Press and down. Press and down. Press, and down. Press. slowly down. Hold it up. Three, two, one, push up, lower. Three, two, one, push up. Three, two, one, push up. Three, two, 
One, two more. Push up. Two, three, down. One more. Up. Two, three. Single counts. Push it up and down. Seven, six, five. Four more. Four more. It's four and three. Last two and one. Nicely done. Shake it out. Good job. So move the chair out of the way. So as we move ourselves down to our mats, we're going to bring ourselves all the way down. Let's do a little bit of a stretching. So you can always take those same movements and go a second time through and doing a second or even a third set of all the exercise that we just did. So that's a great way to build upon one another. So as you do build upon each of those exercises, not just in frequency, but the number of reps. So if you take all the exercises we just did and repeat them again, that would be a second set. If you repeated them a third time, that would be a third set. Gotta love the noises outside. So while we're sitting here, let's focus on the stretch. So in a cross-legged position, sit tall. If you're not able to sit in a cross-legged position, I want you to at least kind of angle the legs slightly so that you are sitting upright. So in this position, are you going to stay with me? She's going to do our exercises with us. So as you reach your arms up towards the sky, lower the right hand to the ground, lean over to your right side. So long diagonal stretch. Feel the stretch down the side body. Lift it up, switch sides. Take it over to your left side. Long stretch to the top arm. Inhale, lift up, switching sides, exhale, lower over to your right. Inhale, lift up, left side, exhale, lower. Lift it up, switch sides, exhale, lower down. Inhale, lift up, switch sides, exhale. Now as you lift up, take it over to your right side, close the top hand down to the floor. As you exhale, twisting into the spine, looking over your right shoulder. Inhaling as you lengthen, exhaling as you twist. Switching sides, take it over to your left side. So closing the right hand to the floor as you inhale, sit upright. Exhale, twisting towards your left, look over your left shoulder. As you come on up, hands circle around behind you, fingers point towards the wall behind you, root your palms into the ground, draw your shoulder bones back, extend your heart center up and out, breathe through the stretch, extend the chin up and out, so you're going to feel the stretch across the front of the shoulders, down your biceps, into your forearms, and release, hands in front of the kneecaps. As you sit back, straighten the arms, scoop your tailbone under and hollow out. As you inhale, extend the chin forward, draw the shoulders back. Exhale, sit back, round and hollow out. Inhale, extend the chin forward, shoulders back. One last time, exhaling, hollowing. Inhaling, lengthening. Nice job, as you raise your hands high to the sky, Bring hands to the Heart Center Prayer Pose. Thank you all so much for joining us today. Have a beautiful rest of the day. Stay healthy, stay active, and make smart choices.